the key motive was that nobody had done it. When you say to a 22 or 23 year old, oh, you can't do that, careful because um, the 22 23 year old may say, bugger that, we'll give it a go. You can't do that now. There's no question of driving through Syria. As for driving through Afghanistan, no thank you. The other one disappeared until about two years ago when a marvellously eccentric Yorkshireman, he brought it back and he wants to see the thing sent to Singapore and driven home. Well, I say, hell's bells, that, that's an idea. Yeah, I mean, an old man, I'm 87, I could help bring back a 64-year-old car. If someone comes up to you asking if you want to drive most of the way around the world in one go, you'd be an absolute idiot to say no. Well, we've got no power steering, no sink and mess gearbox, so you have to double the clutch. If you ask people today to double the clutch, they wouldn't know what the hell you're talking about. I have no idea what you're talking about. When I was at university, I read about what Tim did, and Tim and his mates made history. I have spent the last 10 years of my life trying to get to some of the most difficult and interesting corners of the world. I am excited about getting behind the wheel of a motoring icon for thousands of miles. And I am doubly excited about doing that with Tim Slesser, the man that inspired me. I have confidence in Alex. I think you need to be patient and a determination to focus on the target, getting there. I think in 2019, the world seems like a very dangerous place. One of my big motives is to prove that the world is not as dangerous as people think it is. But the big challenge is going to be putting that assumption to the test. This is bloody motoring, as it used to be. None of your heated seats and all that crap. Are you listening, Jeremy Clarkson? This is motoring. This is going to be a long journey, driving for eight, ten hours a day, for thousands of miles, in hard conditions. We've got jungles, we've got mountains, we've got deserts. We've got some of the highest roads in the world to go across. I have a little whisper every now and again, and it sort of says, give it a go before it's too late. It's now or never.